happy sunday everyone Whew! i need to take a really deep breath because <laughs> today is a very stressful day i'm going to europe tomorrow which i'm so excited about i'm packing today and meanwhile we're also like prepping our apartments because i'm redoing all the cabinets I'm just gonna show you a little part of the apartment today. Today's video is actually sponsored by BetterHelp, which I will talk about a little bit later in the video. I'm going to grab a cup of ice because I'm gonna present you <laughs> the little preview of our new tea room. What used to be our office, we were kind of debating, are we gonna keep it an office? Or we want to make a tea room out of it where we create a lot of content and have people over when we drink matchas. And we decided on a tea room. It's kind of the only place in the apartment which is kind of finished. I actually ordered a cute little bar cart from Burrow. Which I'm going to put together as well because we're going to put all our coffee and tea and stuff in there. So yeah, let's grab some ice and then we're going to go to the other apartment. Alrighty, we are gonna go inside. I think everything will be done in the meantime that we're gonna be in Europe. We will be back at the end of August. So I just wanna show you a little bit of all the chaos that's going in right now because, oh my God. Alrighty, we're going inside. Today they did the cabinets. This is gonna be like the outside. This is the kitchen right now. And now let me present you our tea room in process. Wow, it's so pretty. There's actually barely anything in there and I kind of really like it that way. So I'm gonna try to keep it. Like for example, here in the corner, it's just like a really beautiful plant, which we found on Facebook marketplace. <laughs> this is my little milk um, station right here. So, sun and neutral. I do need to do a little tan before I go to Europe. I'm trying to like not sit in the sun because of my melasma and I just feel I'm like so pale. So, maybe do a little tanning uh, tonight. But yeah, I wanted to make a little matcha. I have shared like our special foam recipe before where we just add a little bit of foam on top of the matcha and today I'm going to make this iced. This cute cup, by the way, is from, um, it's from Etsy. I will try to link it, see if I can find it. But yeah, let's start making a little drink. ready here. I didn't bring a matcha bowl so I'm just using this little uh, cup. One of my followers Inka made this and sent this to me and I thought it was super cute. I'm just going to use it as a little matcha bowl I guess today. Let's see if that works. It's so good. It's like ice, ice cold matcha with the small ice cubes, and then with like some sweet foam and not really milk. It's really delicious. I love. So I was kind of thinking like what kind of subject I want to talk about for this coffee talk video, and then on one of my last videos, a subscriber asked me if I could make a video about how to find discipline and how to feel balanced. And I was like, I'm gonna make a coffee talk video out there because. <laughs> You know, it's really challenging. I have lately been very, very balanced, but I have not been balanced for a very long time either. And, you know, I think especially after the pandemic, all of our mental health has been, it's been taken a toll. Sometimes we look at 
other people or other people's life and we think that everything is perfect everything is great or we think what we know what people are going through but i think you never really do and i truly believe that you know i've had jason next to my side for the last few years which i am so super grateful for and he's been like coaching me and not all of us have Jason next to our sides but there is also another platform like better help and it's actually one of the largest online counseling platforms out there i've actually done a couple therapy sessions there you can sign up you have to just fill out a couple questions about who you are like why you're reaching out and you get paired up with a licensed therapist who you can speak to through text or through FaceTime or through the phone. It's like really however or like whatever communication you really like. And you can really work on, let's say, trauma or like anxiety or things you are really struggling with and pursue like a happy life and to really like solve mental issues that you have the really amazing thing is that if you don't really like your counselor you're paired up with you can easily switch to someone else it's actually much cheaper than normal therapy and they also provide sometimes financial aid so if you want to go check it out you can go to betterhelp.com slash sana and use a code sana for 10 percent off i will link everything below you can go check it out you know it's so normal normalized in this society that we have personal trainers for our body and have a healthy body and all of that but sometimes having a therapist people are kind of looking down on that or like it's not as normalized even though i believe that a therapist is almost a personal trainer for your mind and you can have a healthy body but if your mind and your feelings are not in the right way or right position like your overall health and your overall happiness is not going to be great so i really do believe that strong mind body connection and that you know it's really important to focus on both and you know therapy has also been something um it's helped me through like certain traumas and yeah i just think that is so important and you know nobody i feel nobody's perfect to so back to the question of how to stay disciplined and how to find balance i've always been pretty disciplined i feel sometimes a little too much i have like a hard time letting go and i think it has mainly to do because i grew up playing sports and i used to be a semi professional acrobat which meant i was training 15 hours a week after school before school going to bed early while my friends were like on parties or whatever and i think that really teaches me a lot of discipline if you don't feel you have any discipline and you find it hard to like motivate yourself i want to give you three small tips to kind of integrate the first one is when you're going to bed decide what time you're going to wake up the next morning and the reason why this is so important is because you're setting yourself up for a good efficient day if you just like kind of wake up whenever and see whether day takes you it's really hard to keep motivated then number two we're coming back to that morning alarm is when your alarm goes off you immediately wake up and you turn it off and you get out of bed instead of snoozing your alarm pausing it or turning it off and the reason why this is so important is because you're just training the habit of discipline where your alarm goes off and boom you get out i know this can be hard but implementing these small things can help you for uh, i would say bigger tasks you feel you need to be more disciplined in and then number three is create some type of morning routine or to have control over your morning and the reason for this is because this is the start of the day and if you feel you are in control and have a morning routine and take time for yourself you set yourself up again for a good day and this is something what i really noticed like if i my morning is messy because of whatever reason i check my phone too early before i did my routine or get see emails and things like that i feel more chaotic throughout the whole day and i kind of almost have this in the afternoon where i'm just like you know what screw it no discipline i'm like whatever while if i set myself up from in the morning then i don't know it just feels much better i feel that's kind of some tips to stay more disciplined and i would say to stay balanced in life that's a hard one 
because <laughs> I often feel also out of balance. Like it's weird. It's more like a feeling, right? Sometimes you just like, you don't really know. And I don't know if you, have you ever had that? That you're just like, you don't know what you're feeling. It's kind of weird. Then you're just like, oh, I'm just like out of balance. And sometimes there's a reason and sometimes there's not. I do really believe that a healthy balance in life is the formula for happiness. For me, that is between work, friends, relationship, that is spiritual balance, financial balance, all of those areas. And I feel if you're balanced in there, that will really help for your happiness. Something what has helped me is kind of set small goals each month in each area, let's say spiritual, I want to practice yoga one uh, every week or maybe that's financial this month i am going to save some more money or maybe you treat yourself on something this month i am going to hit up friends and see them and have dinner with my girlfriends or maybe it is in your relationship and you're like i want quality time with my partner and set up a day and doing this like every month and not just on january 1st i feel can help you like achieve that and kind of like help to find balance a little more and yeah i mean the morning routine and coming back to it i don't know why i keep bringing that up but that just like has really helped me also journaling has helped me to really express like what you're grateful for every day i love using the five minute journal because when you start your day with gratitude it just changes the whole perspective of everything and if bad things happen I feel personally more balanced when I approach it then because I showed a lot of gratitude in the morning, if that makes sense. I think it does, no? But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's little cough talk video. By the way, guys, what do you think? We are in doubt if we should keep this, yes or no. I thought it was first way too like big and clumpy, but now it actually fits really well. It's nice when like guests are over. I don't know. And actually, I'm curious, what do you do? to stay balanced let me know in the comments down below because i'm very curious to hear i'm going to put my little bar card together because this little thingy what i had right there was a little shaky so i'm going to put my bar card together and kind of get this room ready also part of balance i am going to take a little break a little vacation for the first time in i don't know since the pandemic hit, we've been just going non-stop, honestly, because, you know, build and started the business, Nekoama, we, um, yeah, it's, it's just been really crazy. <laughs> this is also the step in, like, me finding balance, is to just be able to kind of put an out-of-office email on, and for the next three weeks, I'm going to Europe, I'm going to spend time at home, and just like take time off and i think that's sometimes really important too so yeah i will vlog in europe too so i'll see you guys there let's put this card together damn it one of these freaking things isn't bended well so I guess I will have to call customer service and get a new one because I can't put it together. Damn it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's coffee dog video and I will see you guys in Europe. Can you guess where I'm going? I almost said it. <laughs> Love you.